Well, I think that it's very sophisticated that high school students go to the college. They're very smart. They're much smarter and more mature than the college students anyways. So, I think that it's perfectly decent. Hello, I would like to introduce you to Christina, my sitting spot. It's right this way. Follow me. It's this grass. <laughs> we sit on this grass. It's too small of a grass for anyone to walk through, so we uh, sit in it because no one ever walks in it. This is our spot. I think. Yeah, you're on. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you about the main food that most high school students in college eat, and it's called, it's called popcorn, because you can easily carry it around in your backpack unpopped, but when you pop it, it expands. So, here's why popcorn is delicious because it's popcorn. Tell me, Christina, what do you think about high school students being on a college campus? Well, I don't know. I kind of think like it's, it's our campus and we shouldn't have high school students on it because like they just rush stuff. And you know, they've already, I mean, we got to be in high school, so they should have to be in high school too and they shouldn't be able to come to college because it just invades the campus and makes things unpleasant for all of us. Christina, you are a high school student. <laughs> Janelle, as a 15-year-old teacher, what is your view on teaching high school students in the same class that you teach? That question makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Okay, Janelle, as a 15-year-old teacher in college, what do you think about teaching college children? <laughs> well, they have so much to learn, for one. You know, the college students, oh my gosh, they still need to mature. They're mentally maturing, you know. I'm just thinking about growth in their life you know now, now how does how does the study of green pond affect the growth in their life well you see if they start drinking the green pond <laughs> then they might become mental in a bad way <laughs> what do you think about this terrible thing he walked on our grass no one has ever walked on our grass when we are sitting on our grass I just, I just, I can't believe it. I, I really can't. It's too small to walk on. No one ever walks in it. You just go on the path. This is why it's our grass. <laughs> We're now observing the average high school college person. This is a high schooler who's going to college. Obviously, we can see that high schoolers are of no use to the college because all they do is lay in the grass and soak up sun. As you can see, there are plenty of educational facilities around here, and this person is not using any of them. <laughs> All she's doing is laying there in a sleepy stupor. I wonder what she's been doing the whole day to make her tired like this. Certainly not school. Tell me, Christina, since you and I cannot drive, so we have to be dropped off by our, um, uh, our ballet service, um, tell me, what do you do between classes that, uh, fills in the time? I eat fruit cups. And this is what happens when a high school student is dropped off at college and left there <clears throat> for a long, long time. They sit and eat fruit cups for three hours until the next class. And then, when she's in the next class, she falls asleep in the next class, which happens to be rather boring. So, this is what the high school students do, where most college students <clears throat> leave if they're here for three hours. What do you think of high school students attending this college campus? Sure, they can get in or whatever, I don't really care. <laughs>